Well, as businesses such as casinos try and recover, how will the downtown area rebound from the COVID-19 pandemic? That's a question local experts are trying to answer. And WJZ's live Stetson Miller tells us what those leaders say that the future may hold. Stetson? Hey, Denise, yeah, the downtown area has suffered a lot with most people working remotely, so they haven't been down here. Real estate experts say that's been rough for the area's economy, but they've been trying to adjust. It's, it's really tough. There's a lot of uncertainty. It's been an unusually quiet year in the heart of the city, with many offices shut down to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Office building owners and property managers at a downtown partnership of Baltimore webinar today said this is not an easy time for business owners or the real estate market. Uncertainty surrounds um, our office tenants. We really don't know. Um, they don't know their needs right now. Jeff Clary with Grander Capital Partners, which owns a number of buildings in the area, including Office Towers 25 South Charles Street and 120 East Baltimore, says his tenants are still trying to assess how to safely bring back employees. I think they're all still trying to sort through whether or not they have everybody come back, right, or if they shift and cycle. Clary says none of his tenants have expressed an interest in leaving his buildings in favor of working exclusively remotely. He says he thinks it's beneficial for the local economy and workers themselves to keep offices downtown open when it's safe to return. I do think a lot of people enjoy and need that day to day collaboration to be surrounded by uh, colleagues, you know, clients. He believes businesses will do their best to safely adjust. I do think the footprint of office will actually probably start gravitating back to a bigger footprint where you won't have as many people on top of each other. Terry Cotton with Southern Management Corporation, which oversees apartment buildings in the area, says he would like to see more help from the state. We do need some assistance from uh, Governor Hogan. We, we need him to kind of step in and, and help us out with this because this is bigger than the city. Those experts said that there is still a tough road ahead for the downtown economy, but they are optimistic. Well, I have a President Street Stetson Miller for WGC.